Beautiful Places with Neil Humphreys on Weekend Mornings with Glenn Van Zutphen on Money FM 89.3. Okay, Neil, where are we going today with our beautiful place? We are going, my friend, back in time to the new Sentosa Heritage Trail. I did it with my wife and daughter this week. Absolutely loved it. The very first of Singapore's 22 heritage trails, but the first to be located off the mainland. Um, it actually includes 30 different heritage sites, not to be sneezed at within these trails, of course, yeah. including the recently gazetted Fort Soloso. Right. It's basically... Have they air-conditioned that yet? No, they haven't. You know, and my daughter was like, why no aircon? Why no aircon? Where's the lift? Where's that was a the... joke, folks. For those of you who yeah, listened yeah. last weekend, we made a joke about that. Yeah, because I, I really don't want it air conditioned. Yeah, but there has been some requests from people, <laughs> public comments, asking a pre war <laughs> fort to be air conditioned on the, top, monument. on the top of a hill in the middle of secondary rainforest. <laughs> Yes, there's been calls for it to be air conned. Do carry on. <laughs> yes, well, that's a nice segue because the Soloso Fort forms a major part of one of the three trails. It breaks off into three. There's the four-kilometer Forts Trail, okay. which includes this, you know, the fortifications, Fort Soloso, Fort Serapong, and all that militarized activity in the late 1800s. That's one of the trails. The other one, which I, I thought was quite interesting, is called Kampong's and barracks now that's a three kilometer route i like that one because it explored the lives and the livelihoods of the people who lived on mm. pulau blakang marty and i went to an area that i'd never been where, I, I was gonna ask where were the kampongs there well i'm sure you have but i was look i mean i was looking more at the barracks side of it yeah the if you cross the mount imbia yeah. express station where yeah. the merline used to be right Cross that road, you get to the very posh Atas hotels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They are all former barracks. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Of all course, of them. Of I'd never been there. So yeah. if you step, if you go to the the building that's it's called like the Capella and those, the Capella is there. The uh, the mess hall is there. Now the mess hall is literally that a former mess hall. Now it houses restaurants, but it's the little details that I'd never noticed. They have these two metal strips that you wouldn't notice it unless you knew they were there outside this very atas mess hall and they are there since the british military the army used to have to wipe their boots huh? on the metal strips before the officers went into the mess hall sure. i love little details yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. still there yeah. so that's the second trail but my favorite believe it or not was actually the third trail which is called memories of sentosa it's only two and a half kilometers long and it's basically just that memories of the island itself as it transitioned from a you know a military island to a tourism destination why did i love it because it's the personal history it's the intimate history it's your history it's my history it's the listener's history so it has markers for the old monorail and so I'm showing my daughter because the track is still there inside the secondary rainforest. Yeah. And I got all the comments. You sat on there <laughs> just in the forest? Yes. Yeah. But she said, and, and what was it like? Was it air con? There was no air con and on the monorail. it was wobbly, rail. and you always felt like you were going to tip over. I, I went on it when we first and it arrived. it wobbled. Yeah, yeah. And when it rained, you had to literally physically pull down metal shutters. In and then it got steamy and stinky steamy. inside. <laughs> and it was, and I'm explaining to her that it was so compact yeah. and you would be in there with strangers. And if it rained, it would get very hot and steamy yeah. with complete strangers as you pulled in the metal shutters. It, it was not enjoyable. Yeah, It was quirky. So, <laughs> so I showed her that, which she liked. And I liked it because it, I like trails and history that's tactile, yeah. that you can see, that is physical, that is real. And the fact that they've kept that, monorail track yeah, in neat. parts there and utilized old stations as well oh, right? old stations on the uh, imbia trail have now been reused as um exhibition centers mm. uh, uh you know uh, wow. nature nature exhibitions showing you the flora and fauna and but they're still housed within the old station buildings of mm. the monorail which is great but it's the personal so for example i walked to this marker that stood at the spot of the old musical fountains. You remember the old musical fountains? Absolutely. Yeah. 
it was a surreal experience going to the old Sentosa. And young listeners like Nora, they don't know what they're missing. When you stepped off the old ferry terminal, first you got talking birds. Do you remember them? Yeah. The talking parrots, yep. which I loved because one of them pooped on my mother-in-law's shoulder, <laughs> something that I still give thanks to. My father-in-law, he's no longer with us, but he loved Sentosa. He just had this thing. He loved Sentosa. Mm. So he would go to the musical fountains. And one of my favorite memories, Glenn, ever, is that I did it as a gag, and I can't believe it worked. So he stood with my mother-in-law at the musical fountains. You know, they went all the way up, didn't they, to the Merline yeah, itself. It yeah. was a beautiful view. Yeah. And I said, step back further, step back further. <laughs> oh, no. I can't get the Merline in. Step back further. <laughs> he fell into the musical fountains. <laughs> it's one of the greatest memories of my life. Whenever I go to Sentosa, uh, we always pay tribute to my late father-in-law. Yeah. So it's that stuff. That's what I like. It, to most people, yes, it's just a marker. It's just an information board. But it's what you bring to it. Hmm. Personal history, personal memories. Now, That's why I love the tour. How does one go about figuring out which tour to go on on, on this new Sentosa Heritage Trail? Because there's a lot, right? It's a big island. There's a lot going on. Is there? A, there's a guide. You got a guide, okay? So okay. There's a couple a of ways guide? to do it. Yes, and this Neil's is a very, it on, this is uh, a very Facebook impressive Live. guide. It's something like I'm, I'm just looking at it now. It's almost a hundred pages, and yeah. it's free. It says the Sentosa Heritage Sentosa Trail. Heritage Trail. And where did you get that? It's I got it from the kiosks at the uh, the former stations that I mentioned. There's yeah. several kiosks across the island where you can oh, nice get map, this guide from. There's also just leaflets that you can pick up from the cable car stations just of the maps. I'm holding it up now. and But you don't even need that. This is the 21st century. You can just download it from the app. Yeah, of course. Um, yes. The Singapore Heritage Board, uh, NHB, National Heritage Board, Sentosa website, the roots.sg website. Right. You can download the map. You can download the tour. Awesome. Yeah, it's all marked out. The markers are all clear. I like them all, but I have a soft spot for memories of Sentosa because it's the personal history that I love and I will always remember my father-in-law falling <laughs> into the fountain. Beautiful Places with Neil Humphreys on Weekend Mornings with Glenn Van Zutphen on Money FM 89.3. All right. Thank you for that, uh, Neil. And, and uh, you know, we all know about Sentosa and going to the beach and doing the various uh, uh, tourist things, but it is neat to think about doing some of those walking trails too because i'm sure you know there's so much that's there that's a lot of it's hidden a lot of it's uh being overgrown now mm -hmm. by by the uh, forest and stuff so it's good to good to hear about that 